Hello everybody, this is BrickDude3, and I'm doing my review of the LEGO Harry Potter 4701, The Sorting Hat. So, um, I believe this set contains somewhere around 54 pieces, so I'll get to building it, and then I will review the set. Here the set is all built up, and I've got to tell you guys, the build was pretty fun. It's a 2001 set, and it's just, it's a great, great little set. Like, I've, I've always kind of wanted this set. So, let's take a look at the minifigure. So, the instructions say to build him like this, but in the back of the manual, they have you put the wand in, the wand in his hand. So, that's how I'll have him. So there he is. One of my favorite things about him is he does not have his Gryffindor robes like in all the other sets. I believe this is the only set you can get him in where he does not have his Gryffindor robes. And you can see this signature early 2001 uh, black Harry Potter cape. And this piece is actually slightly different. It's not normal plastic. I'm sure you can tell it's a bit off colored and... um. If you would like to see what he looks like with his hair, that's him. Of course, 2001, so no back face. And I do not believe that he has any printing on the back. He does not. And of course, he's in the beautiful, beautiful light gray. And here's the sorting hat. It's just a plain black witch's hat. So that's Harry. And here's the actual... Um, sorting area, I guess one might call it. So I'm going to take this out here and show you this, as I believe this was something, it was like a hidden thing that you were supposed to look for in old Harry Potter sets. Um, it's just gibberish and it's a little scroll. So, you know, these came in a bunch of old Harry Potter sets, the little sort of scroll piece that maybe you would have your minifigures right on or something and that goes right back there in that little slot and this can move interestingly enough I don't really know what it's for but it can move and here's this owl this is the old owl mold it's not like the new one see it's actually more detailed in terms of uh, molding but no printing just plain white and it's a really Great looking figure, of course. Uh, I think we all know who this owl is. This is a Harry's owl, Hedwig. So, yeah, there's that. And she just sits atop there. And you can see you've got two little goblets back here and some flames. And now on to the real good part of the set. So what you want to do is... Sit Harry down, and he looks really nice there, and he can swivel around like that. And what you're supposed to do is, see this little piece? That's how you determine this little thing right here. That's how you determine what house he's in, and you just spin it. So it looks like in this alternate reality, Harry is a Slytherin. And uh, go again. Now he's a Hufflepuff. And you can do this and sort of make up your own... And now he's a Ravenclaw. Let's see if we can get Gryffindor on the next spin. Oh, we got Slytherin again. But if you... You can sort of make up your own little alternate reality where Harry gets sorted into Slytherin and, and he becomes the next dark wizard or something funny like that. And um, see on the back, it's just a pretty plain build. On the back. And honestly, it's a... It's a great set for the for the 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 piece count for the price that I paid for it. It was, a, it was 15 bucks a little steep, but this cape is new, like basically new. You you can't even tell that it's used. Um, honestly, this is a fabulous set. If you have the money, pick it up on Bricklink. It's it's a fairly cheap set. Um, let's include those right there. 
I rate this set a 9 out of 10, only because the certain things, I, I don't know, I just feel like the price could have been better, but then again, that was what I paid for it. So, you know what, for the price that it came out in 2001, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I think that's pretty fair. Thank you for watching.